Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week, I wanted to talk about not really the fear of failure, but just kind of the unease of it. Um, And this is coming from personal experience. This is another one of those episodes where I'm talking mostly to myself uh, through you guys. Um, I've been dealing with a commission uh, for the past couple months, and I've been kind of dragging my feet on it. And really, I think the big thing I'm worried about is them not liking the things that I make. And I know that the first iteration of pretty much anything I send them is not going to be what they want. And that's okay. Like, I shouldn't be afraid of that back and forth and them telling me that something isn't exactly how they want. Um, And I wanted to kind of just touch on this just for a little bit, just because this is so like paralyzing for me personally. And, you know, hopefully, well, not hopefully, but I imagine that for other people out there, it's also something that, that you deal with even either with your like personal projects, or if you are working on a commission or or working with other people, like you have that fear that, you know, something that you make is not exactly what they're expecting. And, um, you know, doing commission projects or working with other people is a collaboration. It's, it's something that's iterative and it's, it's something that you don't really get right on the first try. And I think that it's okay to just try something and then, you know, receive feedback through that and then iterate, iterate through that. And I, I'm struggling so much with this project and it's really not difficult. It's just one of those things where I don't want to sit down and do it. And I I feel that the majority of that is just that I don't want to deal with that kind of like light rejection that happens when I send something over and they're like, oh, this isn't exactly what we want. You know, it's it's kind of dumb, but it's it's been on my mind lately and I just wanted to touch on it a little bit because it's uh, very frustrating that I have this problem and I don't really know how to fix it aside from just buckling down and doing it. But that's difficult. (laughs) <laughs> yeah but I, I i guess i want to talk about the fact that it's like okay to to be uncomfortable with this but that doesn't mean that you can just paralyze yourself with this fear and that you have to just get something done and out there and and start that dialogue because once you have that dialogue you can work with the client or you can work with the people that you're collaborating with and you can like hone in on what exactly they want because you know the client doesn't always know what they want and if you're if you're walking into a collaborative project you know you have a general direction that you want to travel but you don't necessarily know where you want to end up and i think that that journey is is part of the process you need to you need to keep moving and you need to keep kind of discovering along the way like what works and what doesn't and how you can better approach problems that present themselves um you can't just you know, solve a problem without doing research and and trying to figure out like where the pain points are and, and what can be done to overcome them. And yeah, just got to sit down and try it and do it. And, and don't be afraid of um, them just saying, Hey, this isn't what we're looking for because there's that, that's a lot of check marks off of your list for things that you don't have to worry about now. Um, and I, I think that there's just a lot of value in, in approaching things this way. And, and I got to just get off my button and, and do it myself, really, uh, because I only have a couple of days left before this project is done. And I've been dragging my feet for like three months. <laughs> and part of that was because of the holidays and the, the Nassau Elmo and a bunch of other stuff going on. And it's just like, yeah, I'll take care of it in January. It's totally fine. And then this I've just been dealing with burnout and. Um, I think a lot of, a lot of problems have stemmed from the fact that I'm just afraid to just sit down and work on this because I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. And, you know, I, I know that I'm technically capable of, of doing what they need. Uh, I've worked with them in the past on other games, but it's just one of those things where I just like, I don't want to disappoint them. Um, so I don't make anything and that's not good. (laughs) So yeah, it's just kind of figuring out what works and and how to uh, how to keep moving forward on that and just becoming more comfortable with the idea that, you know, the first iteration isn't going to be the best one, but it's also going to be the most valuable when you are trying to get 
get data and feedback and, and trying to move forward. And it's important, you know, and I, I guess that's really it. I, I'm sorry that this is a little bit of a shorter one and kind of more rambly, but I also think that it's just really important to understand this. And I, I, I'm sure, you know, everybody's kind of dealt with this in one way or another, but it's, it's okay to, to struggle a little bit and, and to, uh, just, you know, understand that it's not always going to be great, but you know, that's part of the, part of the job really is to, to work and, and try to find a good solution for problems. And sometimes those problems aren't your own. Um, and the big issue is the longer that you dawdle and, and be afraid of like doing anything like your deadline just ticks closer. So the best thing you can do is just do reconnaissance and try to figure out, you know, the best way to approach a problem and, and try to solve it as, as at least get the information as soon as possible so you can solve it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope that you got something out of this. I, I really do think that this is a valuable topic to talk about more, but really this is just kind of a brain dump for me because I'm, I've really, really been struggling with this. Like I've been journaling about it. I've been, I've been like thinking about it. I've been complaining about it a lot, both to myself and to my wife and to some people like on discord. And it's just like, I gotta just sit down and do it. I gotta just sit down and do it. And it's been so, it's been like pulling teeth. Like I just can't sit down and do it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is tomorrow, um, even though I have a day job and I'm going to likely be streaming in the afternoon, I want to invest, you know, even 30 minutes, 45 minutes to sit down and at least get something whipped up so I can, um, I can send that off to them and I can just make, progress on that and get feedback on that and that's that's all i need to do so yeah that's it for me but thank you so much for listening and thank you so very much for supporting i really do genuinely appreciate it i hope that you have a fantastic friday and a wonderful weekend and i'll talk to you in the next one be remarkable